Hi everyone, how are you doing? I hope that you're very well. So today I got £10 worth of scratch cards and I also wanted to speak to you about something. Um, I'll show you what I have first of all. So I've got this £1 Match the Tripler. It's number 101. I don't buy these a lot so I'm excited for this. I've got the bonus multiplier here, the £2 scratch card, which is number 31. Along with the dual 7 stubbler which has been my luckiest scratch card since doing these videos. I've got number 41. And here it's the big Christmas Advent Calendar £5 card. And they're very difficult to scratch. This is number 44. Okay. So, before we get started, there is something I want to speak to you guys about. Um, I've seen a few comments recently, people saying that... Okay, so then, that... I should stop doing the videos because I was spending too much money. And I just want to say thank you for your concern. However, um, I am not buying packs of scratch cards. You know, there's people that buy packs that are, you know, cost like £180 and things like that. I only buy £10 here and there. Uh, you know, a few times I went a bit over that. Um, a lot of the time I'll use, you know, money that I win. So if I won £10 today, you know, I would go and get £10 another day with that. So that's quite good. Um, if there's some people saying it to be cheeky, then that's fine, whatever. If there's some people who are genuinely concerned, then I thank you for being concerned. Um, I've always bought scratch cards for years and years and years. This isn't something I've just randomly started to do. So, thank you anyways. I just wanted to make that clear. And let's go on with today's video. So, we have the match three tripler. Match the numbers, find a times three in the box there. Let's do the box first, actually. So, it's a times three. So, probably means we won't get <laughs> what's under here, no doubt. Let's give it a go anyway. £30, £30, that would be lovely. Can you win IT on this? Let's see. Oh, that's the thing, you can't actually win 90 on it. So, that will not be the win. Got a pound there. And two pounds. Twenty pounds. Ten pounds. Two pounds. That'd be lovely. Three pounds. Three pounds. So there is no win on the first card. As you can see, no match threes. And we'll move on to this one, which is the bonus multiplier game. This is probably one of my least favourite cards, to be honest with you. Match three amounts and again the multipliers in the middle. So let's see what we have. Two pounds. Two pounds. Hundred thousand. And two pounds. So there we have it. Two pounds. Right. Now, I don't know if there's any chance we'll get anything else on the card, but we can try anyway. So we have a hundred. Ten thousand. One hundred. And 10,000, so no win there. Game number three, we've got a thousand, five pounds, three pounds, three pounds, so obviously no win there. And last but not least, game number four, we've got one thousand, forty, or a hundred thousand, five hundred, so no win there. So it looks like this is our only win here for this card, obviously. So we've got two pounds, so there you have it. Let's see if we can get something lucky with the number, the sevens jeweler. We're looking for the number seven or we're looking for the double symbol, which is this kind of jewel down here at the bottom. So let's go for it. Let's see if we can get a good one. Okay. First number is nine. Then five. Six. Nine again. And the number three. Five. Six. So two. So, no win there on that card. And we've got the last one. Let's see if we get a good prize with this one. I'm going to fold it in half because it is so big. <laughs> and what we want to do here is we want to match two symbols in a house. So, let me pull this out slightly. There we go. Okay. So, let's go for the first one. And it's a stack and a trumpet. In fact, I'm going to actually zoom in so you can see it properly. Okay. Next up is chocolates and a star. These ones are quite difficult to scratch, although the 20 pence is doing quite well. A uh, mistletoe and a cracker. I seen something on eBay 
and it was like a coin and it was all engraved and it said lucky. I think it was for a friend, lucky, and I wanted it, but I thought you can't buy yourself a lucky coin. It needs to come from someone else. So I would have loved to, but it's a bit much. So buy it for yourself. You know how sad. Green gear and a jumper, so no one there. We have got snowflake and a mistletoe, sledge and a candle, stuff. mistletoe and reindeer, stack and chocolates. How awesome would it be to get a full card on this if so many times you could win? That would be crazy, a star and a holly. Still never had a full card yet. Trumpet and snowflake, stocking and star. Jumper and stocking, so that's the first half half of the card. Next up, go down to the second half, which we have here. We've got a stack of coins and a hat, chocolates and a reindeer, got chocolates and a pudding, and over here we've got stockings and glove. Okay, let's see what's under 21. We've got a sledge and gloves. Here's number three. What have we got? Pudding a cracker. Sledge and the bobble. Cracker and the hat. Okay. So, what's the last row? This is not looking good. I mean, it really is not looking good at all for me. Let's go anyways. Pudding and coin. Over here, hat and a bobble. Over here, a bobble and a glove. Her last house, number four, stocking and a candle. So, no wind there on this card. Um, really not had much luck with these big advent cards, to be honest with you. So, no wind, no wind, no wind. <laughs> Two pounds. That's all we want, two pounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my box out. That could have sounded bad because that's a word for something else. Anyways, yes, I'm going to get the box out now. If I remember right, I think I've got 18 pounds worth in here. But let me double check because it might have been 16. Um, and whilst I do this, I just want to yet again say, as I say, I will only play scratch cards for whatever I can afford. I will not go over the top so please do not worry okay on this one the wind was the 